Take a look at the clock. This is your time. You know what you want, so go get it. It's there. If you want all these things in life and you're just thinking that by some miracle of life or some bullshit theory of the law of attraction, it's going to magically happen, you've got to wake up. The only way to get what you want in life is to get to work and go and get it. To look at all your adversity and all the excuses square in the face and push yourself out of your comfort zone to achieve what you want. Your biggest growth moments come from a place of discomfort. If you're never willing to step outside into those fears, face the unknown and see what's on the other side of them, you'll always be wondering what could have been. You can always do more. You always have another gear, another level of performance. You can always push a little bit harder, get up a little earlier, work a little longer, spend more time with the ones you love. Whatever it is you want more of or want to be better at in your life, you have complete control over whether you get it or not. Stress, fear and discomfort all promote growth. The more often you willingly place yourself in the uncomfortable, the more you'll find moments of progress, moments of growth. You'll get better, stronger and more confident. When this becomes a habit, the tough situations in the future when faced with something bigger, the courage and strength you've built, the stronger person you've become now prepares you to get through and come out the other side. Your growth is in the gap from where you are now to where you want to be. It's what's inside this gap, the walls, barriers, fears and the uncomfortable that you need to go through. This is what's going to grow you into the person you were born to be. At times when others would normally crumble, you'll rise up. At times when others steer away, you'll straighten the wheel. You'll have complete conviction you can take on what's in front of you. Understand, this is the way for massive personal growth, realizing your ultimate dreams and becoming the strongest, best version of yourself. It's having trust and faith, knowing everything is awaiting you on the other side, knowing you've willingly placed yourself in these moments. Ask yourself, when was the last time I stepped into the uncomfortable, stepped out of my comfort zone? Are you still getting frustrated that your dreams are taking longer than expected? If you're not pushing and challenging yourself, how will you ever get to where you want to be? Many people just see the upsides of a goal. Many people just see the upsides of a dream, of a vision. They don't accept the struggle, the walls, barriers and fears they need to go through. You have to accept the downside. You have to accept the struggle. You have to accept the uncomfortable. I remember five years ago, I used to tell myself that I was flat out, that I was working as hard as possible. I look back at the me five years ago and laugh at what that guy used to do. It was pathetic. But at that time, I thought I was doing everything I could. You have to push yourself past the edge of your comfort zone. It's the only way to grow. It's having a balanced perspective on the highs and lows of realizing a dream in order for you to get to where you want to be, for you to close that gap. It can't all be red roses. You need to get uncomfortable. It's not going to be handed to you. And if it were, you wouldn't have the strength, confidence and ability to handle it. Being handed a dream or working for it is two different types of people. Which one are you? Think about what you want. Think about where you're heading and understand that along the way there's going to be huge moments of progress, huge moments of growth, huge moments that you're going to go, oh my God, I can't believe I actually come through with this. I can't believe I got past this point. That all comes from you stepping into the uncomfortable. That comes from you stepping inside your fears. You can't get those moments of progress and growth without first initially stepping into the unknown, stepping into the uncomfortable. This is what you should be chasing. From here, you assess every situation before you step into it. You'll be able to see both sides. You'll be going, man, this is going to be uncomfortable. Man, this is going to be scary. Man, there is going to be a huge freaking fear of failure. 
I, I have the trust and faith I will come out the other side, living in my new body and mind, in my dreams.